We're gonna feed the fish. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We're inside where all the fish tanks are that are about to go into this building right here. 1,400 square foot building is done. If you didn't watch the last video, go watch that video and then come back here. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. We need power and AC in this building ASAP. I'm gonna try to get it done this week. I just wanna get projects going. I have, you know, this pond that's ready to get repainted, set up. Got a lot of stuff to get set up in here. And so much more room to do it. Update on the salt water tank. We're inside real quickly. You could quite literally see our shark in the egg. He's uh, quite large, getting much, much bigger. You can see the stripes on him now. We got the shark egg a couple weeks ago. It's crazy how big it's got, like honestly. He's got a little bit of yolk left. What we're looking for is that yolk to completely disappear and that essentially means he's ready to come out. I believe it's a brown banded bamboo shark. I could be totally wrong, but that's what it looks like. That is his tail right there. It's looped around and that's his head. Make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss when this egg does eventually hatch. All of our fish are doing so amazing. We got Jacques from our old saltwater tank back there. A Couple of these little guys running around in the back. You can see another one back there. The real test is trying to find the starfish. It's so fun. Oh, oh, right in my face. There is the starfish. He's kind of buried himself. If you guys want to see me add some more fish to this saltwater tank, make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you want to see added or Smash the like button. If there's an absurd amount of likes, I'll just go do it. I have had so many errands to run. I gotta go buy more posts. I need to buy more fence so that we can finish, obviously, the duck enclosure and the other enclosure over there. Stuff I've already talked about last video, but errands I do need to run. Life has been crazy. Granted, all of the craziness will be worth it when it's done. Here. Oh, Lulu, you walked right into that, dude. Sorry, and didn't, didn't mean to do that. Lady May and Mango, and of course, all of our goats. Tell you what though, when it's done raining and this mud just sits until it dries, it stanks. I still do want to make concrete slabs for them to eat on, all the animals, every enclosure to have its own like six by six concrete slab. There you go, Lady May. There you go, Mango. Hey, Lady May, if I make this, you have to like this video. Oh, well. You don't have to like the video, although I'd appreciate it. Smash that like button. And that, my friends, is how you make a fresh bowl of cut tilapia. Lots and lots of fish food. Let's go. I got the GoPro in the water, and it's time to feed. First handful. <laughs> Ready, Gar? Boom! How about our catfish? There you go, buddy. I'm just gonna dump the rest. Lots of food. And before I get any further into the video, I want to tell you that you can meet me. It's been almost two years since I've last seen thousands of you that showed up to Aquashella. This time we're going to Animal Con USA. I am unbelievably excited. Friday, August 26th and Saturday, August 27th. I will be there. Meet and greets, main stage events, and so much more crazy chaotic fish, aquarium, pond, animal related stuff going down. Click the links down below, get your tickets while you can, and I will see you there. It's snapping turtle time. We got him right here. Oh my oh. god. Oh, there that goes. Oh, you got the freaking pole. Holy moly. Now we fed the animals and the fish and the turtles. Well, we have a couple more turtles over here. This is my makeshift holding tank for my turtles. It's a lot smaller than it should be, but that's only because it's temporary. The building's obviously done, and these guys will have a big old house in there soon. But I had gotten some new turtles since the last time I filmed. I rescued this little guy. Of course, inside here we have all of our Indian spotteds and our African side neck. Map turtle came to say hello. There's a couple different species in there like an albino soft shell and a couple other things. I've got some really beautiful mangroves growing right here as well. It is the next day and we're on the mission to get what this video is all about done. Well, it decided to rain. So while I wait for the rain to stop, why don't we do a Q&A? If you don't want to watch the Q&A, don't worry, I got you. Here's the timeline, you skip to that time and that's where today's video begins. Otherwise, I have a lot of questions from my Instagram story I put up. Do you plan to buy another property in the future? My answer to that is yes, 100%, and I hope to have a lot more of it in the future. Are you working out? I'm not. I just stay in shape because I'm always doing something. How many siblings do you have? I have two brothers, one older and one younger. We'll answer a couple more, and if you guys enjoy these Q&As mid-video, let me know in the comments. Ooh, 
Good question, David. It says, when is the next farm update? Which is like the update videos where I do like every single animal. I wouldn't say anytime exactly soon because I wanted to finish up at least the majority of the stuff in the new fish building prior to doing that video. But that video is coming. Here's a little rapid fire here. When will you build an aviary? Never. Are you going to get more reptiles? Maybe, maybe. Why did you decide to become a YouTuber for your career rather than do what most do? I enjoyed fishing so much that I made my own pond and started catching fish for it. And I made videos on YouTube because I enjoyed it. I just always did. I loved creating videos. And it was like a snowball effect. It got so big that I was like, dude, I can make a living off this, quit my day job, and live the life I've always wanted to live instead of working the nine to five and having to just do what I like to do on the side. I literally do what I like to do. It's amazing. Let's answer a random one though. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> that would be the one my, my finger lands on. That'll end the Q&A. Now let's get back into the video. <laughs> We're gonna need these. You know what's unfortunate is I had so many of these at the old house and I forgot them there. Perfect, we need this. Now, we look for, hi buddy. We look for water and food dishes. Simple as this, I mean this one's only $3.40, this'll work. This is perfect. It's small, these are small, and then when they get larger we can always upgrade and get larger ones, but for now, three bucks each, saving some money, let's do it. We just put the shavings inside the uh, tub here. We got the food, we've got the water, and we've also got our new animals to the farm. It's my boy Gio. What is He's going on? He's actually the one and only who created these ducks. He birthed these things out of the egg. These are Ancona ducks. Oh my goodness, look how cute they are. So these are one of my favorites because they remind me of my favorite dog, actually the Dalmatian. It so is, the, it's like a Dalmatian yeah, duck. Yeah, so the yellow is gonna eventually turn to white feathering and the black is obviously gonna stay. And the feet are adorable. Look at those little feet. Now these little guys, they originate from the United Kingdom and the United States. So let's let's pop a picture up on one of these things like fully matured. They are beautiful ducks. So you know the Pekin duck, it's literally that, but colorful. Essentially what it is, black and white. Look at those little heads. Oh my goodness, well guess what? So adorable. My boy Gio's got an incredible chameleon collection. So all you guys that love lizards and any sort of reptiles, he's got some crazy stuff. I'm gonna leave his Instagram down below. So if you're interested in that stuff, go check his Instagram out. Go thank him over there because these ducks were from him. Purchased the egg, he hatched them, he did it all. Oh, look at them little paddles. And look at V. <laughs> v is like, is that a duck? Look. That's, that's a duckling, I I V. <laughs> they got a new home here until they get bigger where they eventually will go out to the duck pond over there. Yellow feet. Oh yeah, this one's got only yellow? Yep. Look at that. So we have five ducklings. Thank you, appreciate it. Again, go check out his Instagram if you guys are interested in chameleons. And inside our fish building, I think we have plans for something really, really cool, so. Hey, buddies. Oh my goodness. New members to the farm. I mean, it's been a while since we've got a new animal. Like this, it's been a very long time. Oh, your heartbeat is so fast. Don't worry, I'm not gonna eat you. I have this heat lamp here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna plug it in just yet. It's really, really hot outside in general. They've got their fresh water. They've got their food, of course. I could probably grind this food up a little bit more. Get them a smaller food for now while they're babies. Look at the little belly. Aww. Hey, buddy. I could even take them for like little practice swims out at the pond. All right, well, we got a bunch of ducks that will soon be introduced once they grow with the other ducks inside of our duck pond over there. Hey, Gary, can you get it in the water? Yay. Dude, you got that down. He's getting a lot better at that. Can't wait to get these guys home. Although some of these ducks are the BZ kids. Um, I think like four or five of them are yours. We hatched five of them. I don't know which ones though. Well, I got something to tell you guys, and Paul could probably, will probably edit this out. But anyway, listen, <laughs> did you guys know that the VZ Kids channel is kind of like Paul Caffaro's second channel? Come wow, and hang out just, with us. You just self-promoted. I have to. That's what you're supposed to do. I'll leave it in. <laughs> Three second tutorial on how to cast that. Loop around the arm. Scoops, grab the horn, net. Look at that. Woo! You know what's crazy? Is I literally started this entire pond breeding. Look at that Mayan cichlid. Anthony, show them. They're so pretty. All right, let's get all these back in the water. There's a lot of fish in here. Oh my goodness! What? This is one of the mixed breeds. I put in a bunch of orange tilapia yeah, there was, from I Blake's caught, house. I and look orange. at that, that's one of the orange ones. Anthony, if you ever catch those, don't use them as feeders. I know, I, 
I caught them before and I released them back. Yeah, there. that's my it's guy. An egg. There's an egg on the dock. Why are you going to leave him hanging like that, bro? Oh, thank goodness. Wow, that was a lot just for one little cast. Yeah. One little cast. I'm telling you, this thing is oh, stocked. Mine too. Okay. I'm going to end the video off right here at the old PC farm. Now, VZ Kids Farm. Super cool to see what they've got going on over here. It's awesome. Willow. Hey. Got the pig squad over there. These guys are coming home this week, I hope, at least. I'm trying to get sod to the house as soon as I possibly can and get our ducks, especially Gary over there. Huh? He can't wait. See? I'm telling you. Subscribe down below, smash the like button, and I'll see you right here in the next one. Peace! He's trying to get the egg. Bro, just throw There's the an egg. There's an egg on the dock. Boy, you won't even go into your knees if you go right there and use that. Go. Yeah. <laughs>